Do bags back. NST virus, welcome in. Yeah, here we go. Oh, Dr. Calder, hello. Dr. Baguette, welcome in. Loved your stream before. The One Guard, hey. What is the one SCP you would bring to the real world? What would it be? Ooh, Icy Nightshade, hey, Hammerlord, welcome in. Um, I don't know, I think I might go for the Butler's Handbell. I think that'd be an interesting one. You could do a lot with that one. <laughs> Drops from the vent. Hey, love, uh, you're right. <laughs> Dr. Turpin, Zach Ninja, welcome in. Narkson, welcome. Oh, I went to my cell at least. <laughs> Let me have a phone. <laughs> Zack Ninja, dude. I ordered my SCP keycards from Amazon. That is awesome. I was going to get some of them myself. I want to get um, some patches first because I've got a new lab coat and it's looking a bit, a bit bare. So, mm. Mr. Arts, welcome in. NWR Astro Train, hey, welcome in. Yeah, I'm doing great. Doing great. I've got brand new. Oh, look at this. Yes. Thanks. So apparently I'm allergic to ring lights. Great. <sighs> However, when I do this, I do look awfully fantastic. And it doesn't look like I have the skin of an 80 year old man. So yeah, I've wanted one of these for ages. So I've got my whole set up now. Everything's sorted. Everything's cool. I'm gonna have some fun with that. Oh. Yes, yeah, so that's all like my little late Christmas present to myself. Max Mar, welcome in. What would be the scariest SCP in your opinion? That's a good one. Um, let's see. Uh, I think scariest. Depends if we're talking like monster scary or like world ending scary because if it's world end ending scary then it's uh, the star the hateful if it's monster scary then i'd probably have to go with um predatory darkness but yeah why do you work for the foundation when they kidnap your daughter canonically i don't think dr bright has a lot of other options at this point you know <laughs> uh jula welcome in blue goose Oh, hi. Favourite SCP? My favourite SCP has got to be uh, Infinite Ikea, 3008. Welcome everybody in. Prince Vegeta, welcome back, dude. My chaotic nonsense, welcome. SCP-5601, hello. SCP-173 wants to snap neck. Welcome back, mate. The guy 11th, welcome. Dr. Forget I ate your son. Great. Great. Got to grow another one now. Jesus Christ. Mmm. Staying hydrated. Do you remember when, like, if you were, like, came to my old lives, I would sweat profusely? It was salt. I had a high salt diet. I don't sweat anymore. You noticed that? Who is the administrator? Even I don't know who the administrator is. Sorry, and your wife. Oh, God. Oh, I can get another one. Don't worry. Iraq Lobster, welcome in. Archie Godfrey, welcome. Super Saiyan Ruby, hello. Yeah. So we're chilling. Holy, I'm a spider, welcome in. I will yeet the child. Good luck. Made in Heaven Real, welcome in. Brian, welcome. Dave the Unknown, hi. Fake Knight, welcome. So, yeah, I've not really got much else to talk about, really. I just thought, you know, we'd chill out. If you were in my live stream earlier, thank you so much for joining. The cosplay is done now for Mini Bright. And it's, you know, considering it's made out of cardboard, a rug, some string and some tin foil, I think it looks pretty good. I won't show it because uh, I kind of want him to have the first reveal of it. And it, it looks really good. Oh, and a belt. Uh, I sacrificed one of my belts for it. You was in my live. Yeah, I know I was, dude. Discord Bright Appreciation Club. Hey, yo. Bright, join the void. Royal Rose. 
you know better than anybody, I made the void. What would you do if Siren Head and Shy Guy breached? Well, Siren Head isn't an SCP, unfortunately. It'd make a brilliant SCP, but he's not an SCP. He's a cryptid. We, like, people in the Foundation are very, very, very strict on keeping other people's creations separate to the SCP Foundation ones. It's, it's just like a matter of respect more than anything else, you know? Um... So, yeah, Siren Head on an SCP. Uh, Dr. Brown, what SCP would you fight? All of them. At once. And I'd win. But... <laughs> Decline. <laughs> SCP-187B, welcome in. Raccoon Ruby, welcome. Scott Hughes, hello. I'm a goose, not a prisoner, let me out. You're dinner, that's what you are. Dinner. Shy guy in the back room. Oh, he'd have the time of his life. He could run everywhere he wanted. The Void welcomes you. Dr. Pepper, but it's an SCP. <laughs> Lily Love, welcome in. Mad Top Hatter Dude, welcome in. Dr. Bright, are you still a giant? Oh, yeah, huge. Massive man. I'm enormous. Huge. Giant man, and definitely not five foot eight. I don't know who mentioned it. I don't know who said I was five foot eight. I'm not five foot eight. I'm huge, massive man. <laughs> Child Force UK original, welcome in. Def Salad, welcome. <laughs> Zoe Molly, welcome in. Um, what's that? Libby, I've missed a question. Elode, have you watched Confinement Series on YouTube yet? Uh, yes. Um, it's the animated one, isn't it? Is it the animated one? Oh, oh. I was saying this earlier, I don't get a lot of time to just sort of sit and enjoy some videos and movies and things like that. And any spare time I do get, I'd much rather jump on here and chill out with you guys. So I am behind on the times a little bit when it comes to the SCP Foundation content people are making, but what kind of name for SCP is Peanut? Well, because it kind of looks like a peanut. It's shaped like a peanut. And from first-hand experience, I can confirm that it tastes like a peanut. Um, uh, it's the peanut. What else can I say? Uh, I mean, it's a peanut. You know, if you get an apple and you go, this this is definitely an apple, you don't go, hmm. I'm going to call this, um, I'm going to call this a rooster. It's a peanut. Katie Jade Morgan, welcome in. Would you name SEP? What? Well, that's disgusting. That's absolutely foul. No. If you don't let me out, I will drop kick an orphan. If you can get it more than 10 metres, you've beaten my record. Is it bad that I have qualifications as a teaching assistant? <laughs> oh, Minty Mango, welcome. Hi, Boris. Hi. Play girl, welcome in. The Whip Wiccan, welcome. Have you ever made an SCP? No, I'm not published on the wiki, but I do plan on having a little go. I'm going to see if I can get a few of my ideas published on there because I'd love to introduce myself as an SCP author. I think that, that that's sort of the dream. That's the that's the dream. Sips tea menacingly. Oh, you know me all too well, do bang. Uh, honey, Fafas. Welcome in. My shirt is making it difficult to read the chat. It's... <laughs> Are you an SCP? Um, I think it depends on your head cannon. To me, Dr. Bright isn't an SCP. The amulet he wears is the SCP. He's its victim. Um, you could call him SCP-963-1, if you like. Uh, or the, the host, if you want. But it's entirely up to your head cannon. If you want to consider Dr. Bright an SCP... That's entirely up to you. 
Pardon me. Chavy Cat. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great, mate. Thanks for joining me tonight. I am Matt Watercup. I love making the tea time videos. Like, I keep having to try and one-up myself. It's <laughs> like, how, more, how much more chaotic can I make the next one? And But I don't want to make them too much. Because I know Dr. Sherman loves to uh, do at them. And I kind of don't want to just like fill his entire feed full of my face with ridiculous things to stir cups with. Are you enjoying Phantasmophobia? I adore that game. It is incredible. Like, it's, oh my god. I love it. Phantasmophobia is one of my favourite games. Hands down, one of my favourite games. Andrea, welcome in. Yeah, the tea time videos are amazing. Dr. Calder, thank you. I don't know. All right, Dr. Calder here. Whenever I get a, like, a theory that I make a video about, which I plan on uploading one tonight, actually, um, like, I always, without fail, wake up to a duet that she has done where she goes, Actually, <laughs> like, just proves me wrong completely. <laughs> Sorry, I've got itchy eyes. Oh, I've oh, oh. been putting Christmas decorations away. Oh, got a bit of a dust allergy. There we go. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> What's your favourite YouTuber? Oh, I'm torn between the Volgan and Dr. Bob. For like content's sake, I think I think I'll say the Volgan because although Dr. Bob does some like fantastic animation and stuff like that for his videos, the Volgan he has like a team of voice actors and like he does a 3D generated model of every SCP he does, and they're incredible. If you, I mean, I can't imagine there's anybody here that hasn't seen the Volgan on YouTube. If you haven't, please go and look him up. He's incredible. Um, just simply doing readings, but the effort that he pours into it, it's incredible. However, if you, sort of while I'm giving shout out to YouTubers far bigger than myself, uh, <laughs> um, if you just want to get like a few readings in of just some lesser known SCPs, just straight to the point, no gimmicks, no fancy stuff, you just want to hear the information, you just want the article read to you, then look up um, uh, East Side Show. He, he literally, he just reads the articles and it's fine and it's great and there's nothing wrong with it. And I always, I always listen to, uh, to the East Side Show. It's the East Side Show. Yeah, East Side Show. Uh, yeah. Ezra, welcome in. Hello, dear. Prince Vegeta, Dr. Bright, if you're giant, how big is the room? Huge. Like, it's bigger than me. I had to use the architect to make it bigger just to fit me into the room. And I'm definitely not five foot eight. I don't know who said I was five foot eight. I don't even know why you're bringing it up. I'm not five foot eight. I'm huge. Massive, giant man, and not a little manlet. Giant, huge man. I mean, why did you even say that I was five foot eight? I'm not five foot eight. I'm clearly not five foot eight. I'm huge. Moving on. <laughs> How tall are you? A massive, huge, huge, giant man, and definitely not five foot eight. If Among Us was an SCP, how would the SCP Foundation treat them? I've got a feel. Well, I mean, Sherman's already done that. Um, off the top of my head, it depend entirely on which one was the imposter, because I think they just contain the imposter as a separate entity. Um, but if they can, if like they're a tiny little race of sort of space fair faring super creatures um then yeah we'd probably just keep them in a little box 
or make them believe that they're still on their ship completing their tasks. I don't know. I'm a site director. I'm paid to lead, not read. <laughs> Your thoughts on the Roblox SCP community? I, I've got absolutely no complaints at all. Um, we have a great time over on the Bright Cult Discord. You know, now and again we'll uh, fire up an SCP game on Roblox. Um, you know, you might think I'm a little old to be playing Roblox, and yes, I am, but I, I enjoy it. I just have fun with it. I started playing it to keep my son safe, because at the time it was all in the news and stuff, that there was like dodgy stuff going on, and I thought, right, he's desperate to play it with his friends. I'm going to be there as well to make sure nothing funky goes down. And now I probably play it more than him. <laughs> but yeah. Blink if you need help. I, I always need help, but I don't need help right now. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Fritz, welcome in. I would stab all the crewmates because I am the imposter. Least favourite SCP, the Childbreaker. I don't like that SCP. I actually mentioned this before on the, uh, on the last live stream we did earlier on when we were making a cosplay. Um, like... If an SCP is going to be violent, it has to have a legitimate reason to, or at least a hidden reason to. But with the child breaker, it's just unnecessarily horrible for little to no reason whatsoever. And I don't, I'm not down with that. I'm not down with that. So, yeah. I am currently cleaning behind my bed. Well,. Thanks for taking me down behind the back of your bed. Feed me the dust. Please, I have a wife and kid in the basement, but that's beside the point. <laughs> Yeet, 6420, welcome in. Nat, welcome in. Dragonfire Lotus, welcome. Dr. Bright, I am an opossum. Why have you trapped me in here? Um, well, because I hate to tell you this, but your lunch. Trashy B, welcome in. Confused Cosplays, hello. Lark, welcome in. Low Freak, welcome. Pigs, hello. Puff Shroom, welcome in. Sheena, welcome. Iskender, welcome. Sibo, welcome. The Role Players Official, welcome. My God. I'm not welcoming you in because your username is disgusting. The Opossum like, thank you for following, mate. I hope you enjoy my content. Winston, welcome in. <coughs> Excuse me, but yeah. I tidied today before I filmed like 20 videos. You see, I barely get time to record like one a day. I, I've just been like super mega busy these past few months. I really do need to record some videos. I need a day where I can just make lots of videos. Because I always like to upload three times a day. That's sort of the recipe for success. If you can upload three times every single day, then you're on to a winner. And I'm not saying I'm a huge TikToker, but yeah, it's working. It's working, right? But, yeah, what's up, Gamer Bright? Hey, Pog Jam. Jack is my, what happened to this? What do you mean, what happened to this? What's happened? Yeah, that's why I did. I was free today before going back to school tomorrow. Oh, you guys are going back to school. That's good news. That's good news. Can I say a random fact about my SCP? I bit my tongue. Yeah, absolutely. Brit Smith, welcome back. Why are you eating a possums? We're not food. Of course you are. Of course you are. Everything is food if you're brave enough. The Strange Bandit, welcome in. Snagtooth, welcome. I found a mini dumbbell. I like the new amulet, Bright. Thank you so much. Yes. We finally upgraded. <laughs> and it was about time to. Being cancelled sucks. Welcome in. Site 41. Hi. Welcome back. Pred King 99. Colonel. Welcome. Vlad 99. Welcome. Well, only because I'm vulnerable. Ah, right. I see. 
Are you still in the infinite IKEA? Ah, no, I got out of there like, oh, ages ago. Ages ago. Oh, the Sunday night chill out, so I'm not supposed to be in character. But <laughs> I always end up just answering questions like I am. Some artsy opossum, thank you so much for sharing the live. Thank you. Is there an SCP that messes with Wi-Fi? Well, 073 probably one. Um, I know there's like a massive tower in North Korea that, that does something horrible. Um, though again, everything does something horrible in North Korea. Uh, <laughs> Northern MX, thank you for sharing the live stream, mate. Thank you so much. I hate TikTok, it doesn't let me do cosplay with my airsoft guns. Yeah, you gotta be careful of that sort of thing, mate. Um, you can get away with Nerf guns, that's what I've found. Nerf tends to be a safe bet. Um, but it's like, I don't know. It's very touch and go, you can... I mean, like, I've had a video taken down before because I, men I mentioned the word flesh. That, but that was enough to have the video taken down. So, you know, it's, it's at the end of the day, you're combating a robot that doesn't know how to think like a human. So, <laughs> Susan, welcome in. Dr. Liberia, welcome. Phoenix Wrights, welcome. Seven F, F Rami, welcome. Gather Flat. Sci-41, welcome and thank you for sharing the live stream. Thank you. Yeah, I'll send it to you, friend. Oh, we're just hanging out tonight. I'm not doing anything special. I'm just chilling. I'm getting a bit of R&R. &R. Oh, pow, Ayo, welcome. Uh, I just found a mini dragon back here. Oh, Game of Thrones looking ass. It's good to be back. I'm glad that you are. I'm glad that you're safe. Being cancelled sucks. Welcome back. Dylan, welcome. Yo, I saw a thing where I live in the Yo, I saw a thing out where I live in the woods. Well, if there's anything that's going to be hiding, it'll hide in the woods. Kujojo, thank you so much for sharing the live stream. Laura, welcome in. George, welcome in. Uh, yeah. I'm running out of tea. What am I to do? Kedros, hi. Roger Gamer, welcome. Love your hair. Thank you. It loves you. It loves you, random citizen. Oh. So. Yeah. It's a nice evening. I just want to play Sims. Funnily enough, I picked The Sims up on Steam. I've got it on Steam now. Love The Sims. Oh, I love The Sims. Hey Bright, my SCP-6049 has anger issues and it's scary. Well, that's part of your character's arc, yeah. Ooh. Sorry. If that's part of your character's arc, then just own it. Own it. We all know Dr. Bright's hair is sentient. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I really do need a haircut. I've got the, uh, I've got the winter greys in at the moment it happens it happens to us all cook daisy welcome in hack wooden ones make nice replacements for sharp stabby things yeah stabby things also make fantastic stabby things his hair possesses anomalous properties where do you think the immortality comes from Hiding from SCP-999, said to help. Why? Why hide? What is your absolute favourite SCP? My absolute favourite SCP is the Infinite Ikea. This is subject to change. Dye your hair neon green. I wouldn't mind dyeing my hair, if I'm honest. Um, I don't know what colour I'd go for. It'd probably be something subtle and a little darker. But, yeah. 
My mum is just nice and fluffy and nice. But, yeah. Infinite IKEA for life. Bobby, welcome in. STS, welcome. Kelsey, welcome. Susan, thank you for sharing the live stream. Jared, welcome in. Blue. I had it dyed blue once. It just didn't stay very well. It, yeah. I'm drinking like a very dark purple. I might go very dark purple. Miss Frog, welcome. Omni 404, welcome. <coughs> R3, thank you for sharing the live stream. Hey, Bright, did you know that a body decom... <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess. <laughs> what was that? You look like a warm colour person. <laughs> warm colours. Eh, uh, I suppose purple has the potential to be a warmer colour. Alfie, Maisie, Furry, welcome. Chalky Milk, welcome. Sylvie, welcome. I'm the Rat, welcome. Smile, Smile Official, welcome. Yeet, hey Dr. Bright, what's your favourite SCP? My favourite SCP is the Infinite Ikea. Five times today, <laughs> I've been asked that. I recognise the people in the water. I do as well. Steve from accounting is in there. Once a year, we like to go down there, have a barbecue. That's it. I'm going to put the amulet on 173. Whoa. <laughs> Nothing would happen. The hat man, welcome. If TikTok lets me show. <laughs> Oh, sorry. You, your comment didn't bore me. I'm just yawny tonight. Oh, God. Oh, shoot. I should leave. Why? Okay, okay bye. I... God, you guys have got more chaos than me tonight. Anyway, while we're here, is there anyone in the live stream that would like to do a duet with me on the live? Is there anyone here that has a thousand or more followers that are more than welcome to jump in? But yeah, nice piano music there. Yeah, I, I'm tending to just stick to the simple stuff because I got copyright claim when I put lo-fi hip-hop on. <laughs> Couldn't live stream for like, what, 24 hours? Robert, no you, no you. Um, mm. Julian, welcome. Cole here, hello, welcome. Being cancelled sucks. Me. Yeah, sure. Hold on. I have to go beat one of the SCPs again. <laughs> Moi, please. Right, well, whoever sends an invite to me first, that's that's cool. Fake fat man, welcome. We, we look like kids. <laughs> me, me, me. Just literally whoever sends me an invite first, I'll, I'll do that. Just spend five minutes. But, yeah. That's right. How do I deal with snow in Texas? Oh, um, I just enjoy it, I guess. I, I mean, I can't imagine that's very rare. So, <laughs> make the most of it. I know how I got here. I don't know how I got here, but hey, hi. Welcome in. Welcome to the SCP Foundation. Miss Frog, thank you for following. Dr. Bright reminds me of whatever that word was. Do you good bit for good bits. I don't know what that is. I don't know. I'm just an old boomer boy. Welcome in everybody. Ooh. -woo. Hey Bright, what if Shed Seventeen was an SCP? I don't know what Shed Seventeen is. I think the SCP Foundation is real. Could be. You'd never know. Go to Google Maps and search it up. Well, I am in front of my computer. <laughs> Shed 17, I'll check it out later. My Xbox controller ran away. It grew teeth and a mouth. Please help, it's on my ceiling. Uh, I don't know what you're taking, but uh, can you keep it at least 500 feet away from me? Thank you. Wait a sec, if I'm an SCP, what if I'm an SCP and I'm in a cell? What if we're all SCPs and we're all in a cell? Finley, welcome. Pasty, welcome. 
it's fake, or at least that's what the O5 make you think. <laughs> hey guys, welcome in. I do like the idea that we're all in a simulation. That's a, that's a fun one to think about. I love conspiracy theories and stuff like that. I really do. As Joker, uh, was As Joker in the chat? Don't think he was. Oh, he's gone now. Uh, I feel like I'm just. Mm. Can I come out? No, snake in the bag. You can't ever come out of the bag. You're in the bag for your own safety and ours. Okay. Think about it, snake in a bag. You are a snake in a bag that can speak fluent English. Snake in a bag. You're in the bag on purpose. God. Is this full metal jacket? No. Oh, oh no, spill my tea. This is uh, Asda. I like it. It's my favourite shirt. <laughs> kind of looks like an SCP. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of looks like an SCP. Can I come out now? No. I should make and draw one. You absolutely should. That's the beautiful thing about the SCP Foundation. You know, it can be a monster, it can be an object. As long as you've got a creative idea, then you're onto a winner. So I could just go for it. Even if it's awful, you, at least you tried. At least you got that little step closer to becoming a better writer than you were before. So I say go for it. Just go for it. Mm. Like when I... Sorry, I'm all congested. When I wrote my book, um, I put it on Kindle ages ago. Uh, years and years ago. Um... Like, I got a lot of feedback like that. You know, it wasn't perfect. It wasn't great. You know, it wasn't fantastic or anything like that. I didn't sell a lot of copies. Um, but that's the thing. The first one you do, the first book, the first essay, the first draft, the first anything, is always the one you throw away. It's like opening the box of chocolates and you have the opportunity. You have everything you need there, but you know you don't like that one. And you know someone else likes that one. So you leave that one. But you like all of these. So you take the ones you like. And you know that every single bite is going to be a pleasure. And that's exactly how it is with writing. You know, you have to throw things away in order to pick out the good bits and make your writing better. So that that's my, that's my uh, advice, anyway. I gave SCP-999 a gun and it's chasing me. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, what did you expect? Hey, Brian, I keep hearing ticking noises like a clock, but I don't have a clock. What do I do? You sit and you wait for it to stop. Time's up. Traffy! Hello, welcome in. Luna the Nerd, welcome back. Why did you give it a gun? Brian, I suck at writing, but I'm very good at it. Drawing scary stuff. Well, make that your strength then. <laughs> make that your strength. Should I write an SCP? You totally should. The fun, the great, the so much fun. They don't have to be super long either. You know, I find that some of my favourite SCPs are they're, they're not even a page long. You know, it's you, you'll always leave it up to the reader to fill in your gaps for you. Um, like, I'm finding it difficult to word it. Your book is the iceberg. Your right, your SEP or your article, whatever, is the iceberg. And underneath is what everyone else will make of it. They're, they'll fill in your gaps. I'm not wording it very well, but... You know, just have fun with it. That's the important thing. If you're having fun with it, then it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, God, it knows I shoot it. Why did I give it a loaded gun? Well, it's all on you now. Goose with a knife. <gasps> welcome in. Hacker boy, welcome. End slayer, welcome. What do you think of SCP-1366? The Garfield one. Hate it. It's gross. And it's silly. I don't like it. I can smell it. 
<laughs> whenever I like, hear about it, I can smell it. Bleeding Thunder, welcome. He's making a mess. Godzilla, welcome in. Gina Bean, welcome. Human Being, welcome. Caramel, welcome. Human Being, thank you for following. Spudo, welcome. I almost thought Iceberg and Gears for some reason. <laughs> yeah, well. They are, those are two characters that I don't really do a lot on, but. So E-Girl should be an SCP. Absolutely, contain as many as possible. Dr. Lake, ah, ah, ah. I'm a little tired today, guys. Won't lie, a bit tired, but it's fine. I tried reading Icebergs, I found it confusing. As far as, as, far as I know, Icebergs just like an old researcher, isn't it? I thought it was just an old research. I've not really done a lot of research myself on uh, on Dr. Iceberg. What if I was an SCP? Then we would put you in a box deep, deep underground where you can't be troublesome anymore. Vampy, welcome in. Dr. Bright, did you know you can kill someone with poison ivy tea? No, oh my god. Don't don't tell don't don't tell the Bright cult that. Welcome in everybody. Okay, hear me out. One three oh three one six six meeting nine 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 two orange blobs chaos. Arcee <laughs> the cadet, thanks for following, dude. My little sister says she wants to know what your favourite colour is. My favourite colour is pastel blue. Oh god, I'm being chased by a fully armed nine nine nine. When you're doing a, when you're doing some writing, it doesn't always have to be a monster, you know. Or, you know, I mean, like, so for example, like SCP nine zero nine six, you know, it doesn't have to be a monster. I I like the more mimetic ones. Um, so the idea that a meme can be an infection, I like that. I think that's really, I think that's a really creative idea. So it could be something along them lines. Um, another one. Um, it's a horrible one to say out loud on my stream, but um, it's called Ronald Reagan cut up on on feed on on video, um, and it's Ronald Reagan, the the president Ronald Reagan, and he's given a speech on a video cassette, and it changes slightly every single time. But over the course of the video, he gets like literally like, cut up basically and like heavily injured. And that's like a scary psychological one. Um, I, I highly recommend that one. I think that's a really good one. So it just goes to show you don't need a monster to write a good SCP. So, yeah. Welcome in, everyone. Godzilla fan, welcome in. Vault, welcome. Hear me out. Um, um, missing comments. August, hear me out. What if we shoot the O5 with a nerfing gun and then we have the power forever? Well... <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> That's the thing. The O5 pay my wages. So can we please leave them alone? Could you talk about 624? 624, which one's that? Trusted Insomniac, hello, love. 624. Which one's 624? I've got a computer right here. Look, it's a computer. I'm looking at it right now and I'm like, what is information? What is this internet webs you keep conferring to? We're going to find out which 624 is. Or, or apparently not. Work. Oh my god. I hate technology. Technology annoys me. You have legs, Bright. Yes, two of them. They're quite good as well. They do exactly what they're supposed to do on a daily basis. Don't even need to think about it. They just get up and go. Right. SCP-6. CP. Is it 624? I think it was 624. 
personal MP3 player. Wait, no? Yeah, personal MP... I've never heard of this one. Shall we have a read? Shall we have a little read? We're going to have a little read. And it's not too long either. I have a very dry mouth, so bear with me. SCP-624. SCP-624 is to be stored in Site-16 safe storage room and charged frequently by testing personal test by testing personnel. Testing is open to all Site-16 personnel with proper proper clearance. Per personnel. Personnel access. Oh, personnel. I'm getting personnel and personnel mixed up. Good lord, not even through the first paragraph yet. Person <laughs> personal access <laughs> personal access to SCP-624 is otherwise restricted. 624 is not to be taken off site 16 unless an event unless in the event of an emergency. SCP-624 must be listened to through regular headphones headphones before being played on regular speakers. SCP-624 is not to be played at Site-16 social functions for entertainment due to containment protocol and possible risk of humiliation of Site-16 personnel. Okay, I'm starting to enjoy this already. Okay. <laughs> Audio created by SCP-624 is not to be sold commercially nor shared through file sharing networks. Okay. Addendum. Personnel who do not listen to music do not like music or have zero musical influences are not allowed to test SCP-624. See test log 624-1. Are we enjoying this? Are we enjoying this? I'm, I'm enjoying this a little bit. I'm enjoying this. Description. <clears throat> oh God, I've got a dry mouth. SCP-624 is a SanDisk Sansa E200R MP3 player and voice recorder. The back of the player says SCP-624 contains two gigabytes of memory, although the original owner's manual claims there are preloaded sample songs. There are no files stored within its memory when played on normal speakers. Uploading music to SCP-624 seems to be impossible, as every program tested, including iTunes, Rhapsody and Yahoo Music, have all returned with encoding errors. When powering up SCP-624 through headphones, a tone will play. The tone will be picked up through the SCP through SCP-624's microphone. If SCP-624 does not detect the tone, it will shut down as if it were locked. If SCP-624 hears the tone from normal speakers, SCP-624 will power on normally, but contain no stored data. If SCP-624 detects the tone from a pair of headphones, SCP-624 automatically fills its library with two gigabytes worth of music. The music in question is all written, produced, played and sung by the wearer of the headphones, regardless of their current musical talent. Each song comes from the appropriate album cover and the and listener's profile. Thank you, bro. Each, co each song comes with an appropriate album cover and listener's artist profile which is factually incorrect. Possibly based on alternate timeline, on an alternate timeline if the listener had become a full-time musician. When exposed to the musically inclined, SCP-624 will generate specific songs or improve songs that may have already been written. When exposed to test subjects with little to no musical experience, 624 will generate music based on their favorite musical influences regardless of if they, gener if they like the generated music or not. These songs tend to be very consistent to the listener, but the more songs are added to the but more songs are added based on musical influences. If space runs out when the listener is introduced to the new musical influence, the listener's at least favorite songs are replaced when shut down, the songs are sub subsequently deleted until 624 is introduced to a new listener once more. Oh. What a lovely SCP. See, they don't all have to be scary monsters, do they? I like that. That is a nice SCP. There's there's like a lot more. There's like 
like subject testing and stuff like that. But yeah, you okay, bright? Yeah, I just I just forgot a couple of uh, full stops in a in a paragraph. <laughs> <coughs> Go get some liquid. I could do with a drink actually. I don't know why. I could. Oh, I've got some lemonade. I've got some lemonade. Oh, got a bit of lemonade. Got a little drink of lemonade. Get over there. There was absolutely no need for that. <laughs> what if we shot Bright with the nerfing gun? That I would become monkey. I want to become monkey. Oh, that's better. Oh, chainsaw cannon. Hell yeah. Happy Bright noises. Hello, Moth. Welcome in. <laughs> Can you look up Shed 17, please? Yes, I will look up Shed 17. It isn't something horrible, is it? Oh, for God's sake. This thing keeps coming up. I don't know why. This, like, Thomas the Tank Engine lunacy keeps coming up on my For You page, and I don't know why. Oh, yeah, no. Um, I'm going to leave that for now, because I kind of like to keep it like family friendly but apart from that yeah i kind of like stuff like that you know taking the children's cartoon stuff and making it scary i'll watch that after this but yeah cool oh mm. nice Colonel, thank you for sharing the live, mate. Who dares disturb me and my children? Me, 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 it's me, it's me, I dare, I dare. Kenny Bo, oh, Ken Bios, sorry. Keno no, it's Kenobi, oh my God. Oh my God, what is wrong with me? I've read too many words today, apparently. I'm running out of them. What happens if I shot Dr. Bright with my M4? He would die. French noises. <laughs> what if you somehow shot the nerfing gun with its own bullet to nerf the nerfing gun? If that was possible, then you'd probably just get a basic nerf gun. Um, I think it mentions in the article that they're not sure if it's the dart that has the effect or the gun that has the effect or a combination of the both. Combination of the two. But, yeah. Can you look tall, cold, please? No, not right now. Not right now. No for nothing. <laughs> hey, Bright, can you give me some ideas for a monster? Pardon me. I can give you one of my SCPs. Like one of my SCP ideas. Sorry, I'm full of crap today. Uh, I'm full of crap every day, but, you know. Right. I don't think anyone's used it yet. But you're welcome to use it. <laughs> it's a millipede that goes on forever. It's been emerging from its hole for 50 years, and it still hasn't stopped emerging from the hole. They keep having to wrap it up, <laughs> just a bit like just carving its way into civilization. <laughs> Call it the forever peed. It's entirely up to you if you want that one. Mm. Room temperature lemonade, nice. Infinipede. That's a, that sounds better. Infinipede. I can work with that. <laughs> It's entirely up to you. I'm going to go now, but have a great night. Yes, you too. And thank you for being here, Traffy. Yeah, I'm going to bring it to an end soon. But, yeah. Give him the one with the amnestics in it. Yes, please. Please. Anyway. There is an infinite fish. Yeah, I know the infinite fish. And the church that goes with it. <laughs> what was I going to... <laughs> what was I gonna say? 
I came up with an idea for the infinite fish. And I've completely forgotten it. Yeah, that's like, like, it's not infinite, it's just round. <laughs> it's just a wheel of fish. <laughs> and they just keep going around it and they go, This fish is infinite! It's not, it's just a wheel. It's a wheel. It's a wheel of fish. They just keep going around the same bit. I... <laughs> the amount of problems that can be solved in the SCP universe just by thinking that could be a donut. <laughs> Houdini! Hi, welcome in by the way. We're bringing it to an end shortly though. <laughs> Talarahan, hello love. Welcome in. Right, have you bested the salmon yet? Not yet, but we'll get him one day. <laughs> I am free of possums in a coat with metal. <laughs> <laughs> like they're not even trying. <laughs> they're literally just three possums in a cup. They're not even stood up, they're just wiggling around them. <laughs> Biting people. <laughs> Have you got a YouTube channel? Um, I plan on uh, doing YouTube um, SCP readings very soon. Um, you'll find out about it. I mean, the link, if you want to go and subscribe to me over on YouTube, the link's in my link tree on my profile. So, yeah, there's always that. Um, if you want to join us over on the Bright Cult Discord, uh, I'm sure someone will either post a code or you can check my profile very, very shortly and uh, get the fresh code from there. But, yeah. Stupid idiot is a D-class. Oh, my God, Hi. I got a new desk and I'm gonna put my rock collection on it. I wish I had a new desk. This thing's awful. It's rocks. Willie is my middle name. Hello. Do you have a favorite Roblox game yet, Bright? My favorite one at the moment is uh, a boxing league game. I just, I just really like punching the living daylights out of people significantly younger than myself. <laughs> Fresh code. Yes, we do need a fresh code. But yeah. Who would win? Karen asking for manager or infinite IKEA employees. It would probably be the manager of IKEA. I'm <laughs> punching off. God. Uh, v. Rice Burke, thank you for sharing the live stream. That's a crime, Bright. Now they can die. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> mm. Darzak and Tracky 2, hello, welcome in, but I'm actually bringing this live stream to an end now. Well, yes, thank you all so much for joining me this Sunday evening for a nice, relaxed live stream. We've had a laugh. Uh, going to be doing another live stream on Tuesday, so you're more than welcome to join me then. Um, I want to live stream more actually, I just have like a lot of fun with it. Um, so yeah, I'll be posting over on the Bright Cult Discord, check my profile very very shortly for a fresh Discord Discord code, unless there's anyone here. Ah, Moth Boy, thank you so much for sharing the code dude. Yeah, Moth Boy has shared the Discord code. But yeah. Don't worry, Kendraki. Don't worry, dude. Hear me out. Secret identity with 3008 called the CEO and is extremely rare and nobody survives it. Could be out there. Could be out there. Someone's got to be telling them all what to do, right? Okay. Guys, thank you all so much. Can I get a mm, be right cult? Can I get a mm, be right cult? Can I get a um, bright cult? Can I get a bright cult?
I love you guys so much. Don't forget, we're going into a brand new week and that is lots and lots of opportunity to once again be kind to each other. My name is Dr. Bright. I will see you all very, very shortly. Bye.